People will remember the Olympic announcement in 1995 when Salt Lake was awarded the 2002 Games. It was a party. Yes, it was. New special Shara Park is revisiting that day. Joins us live right now. And Shara, that day holds a lot of meaning to a lot of people, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right, Mike and Dini. Utah worked hard to get that bid, and that was a day that many people vividly remember. For our retired colleague, Keith McCord, that day was electric. This is a special. It was a moment years in the making, and on June 16, 1995, it came to fruition. Well, the International Olympic Committee has decided. Salt Lake City was awarded the 2002 Winter Olympics. To the city of Salt Lake. It was like a touchdown in the Super Bowl. And they, and they screamed for, I don't know, 10 minutes. They just didn't stop. It was crazy. That historic day is one longtime KSL News anchor and reporter Keith McCord will never forget. With his favorite camera on set with him in Washington Square, he stood up and snapped as many photos as he could. And when he said, I just did this. <laughs> it was fabulous. McCord says the celebration was the moment the games became a reality for many Utahns. It kicked off the next seven years of preparation. After that, there was this incredible vibe that these things are coming. More and more events took place whatever that got people involved. And you could just see everybody going, uh, yeah, the world is going to be watching us. Uh, 2002 days to go before the games. Now retired, McCord gets to reflect on the past and enjoy a new point of view. Have an Olympic torch. Is that one of the real torches? One of the real ones. Yep. How'd you get that? Uh, I knew a guy. <laughs> he says working in Olympic games was a dream come true. And he can't wait for Utahns to have that experience again. I never worked so hard and never had more fun than working the Olympics. What an experience, right? Well, the goal on Pioneer Day is to create another memorable experience like that one in 1995. So come over, join the party. It's going to kick off around 3 a.m. But with it being Pioneer Day, that party is going to be going all night long. But come join us in, in uh, Washington Square. The, we'll be broadcasting the event on KSL TV and on our KSL Plus app. So if you can't make it down here, definitely join us by streaming. And then Mike and Dini will be having events all throughout the state on that day when they uh, when that official announcement comes in but come on this is like the worst kept secret out there this thing is happening we'll send it back to you yeah sure i've seen the agenda and the rundown we are going to work just as hard and have just as much fun on that day so i think we're all pretty excited for it yep thank you much we are now